Welcome back. Digesting too much social media at once can be overwhelming, especially with a quickly moving news cycle. So in today's Wellness Wednesday, we're giving you some tips to help balance your social media use. A therapist at Gunderson Health System says it's important to note that social media does have a lot of good benefits, like keeping us informed, but too much of it can be unhealthy for obvious reasons, but also because it can replace face-to-face -face interaction with someone. Jeff Ryland says the first thing you can do is step back and evaluate your own phone usage, especially if you're a parent or guardian. What is my what does my social media use look like? And how difficult is it for me as, a, as an adult, as a parent, to regulate that, to cut back? I'm sure if you even think about your own experience, have you ever tried the experiment of putting your phone away for a day? Uh, and what, what does it feel like? How many times did you think about checking it and if it's difficult for us as adults, imagine how much more difficult it is for a teenager or a child with a developing brain. Ryland adds, don't let technology use become a habit, aka make rules and set boundaries with your technology, like making it a rule to have no phones at the dinner table or charge your phone away from your bed at night, which is what I do. You can find alternatives for social media, do things that take your mind off of it, by challenging yourself. After all, it is summer, so get outside and be with nature, which is truly one of the best things you can do for your mental health.